Here we go. Leap of faith. Are we get are we fine? We're fine! Look at us! Look at all the stuff that we've explored. I'm losing altitude. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I might have to bail. I might want to bail, honestly. What do you want to bet that I bail and die on a lily pad? You know what? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. This is going to be so cool. Let me eat a mushroom. That's fine. Oh. Oh, I can steer it by land by standing on it. Oh, that's cool. Nosedive. That's sweet. And it makes so much sense. I like that a lot. What's up here? What is there anything cool up here? Uh something that should not be named. Eggs. All right. Cool. Uh, nothing special. It gives me attack power if I fuse it with something. That makes sense. Is there anything up here at all? Aha! There is. Give me that. That did not work. Give me that. One thing I like about, uh, I, I like about the, the ultra hand, as they call it. Neat. Uh, is that it doesn't have an unlimited radius, unlike stasis. Stasis had this massive, like, honestly, it was a problem. It, it, was, it was something that they shouldn't have designed. It was a design flaw in it, is it showed you everything. So if you were looking for enemies that were hidden, um, it, it's almost like uh, vats in, in Fallout, where you can reveal mines by just mashing the vats button because there's no resource attached to it. And eventually, like, I guess there's that. But you could stasis plants. So you could just walk through the forest looking for plants. You could look for Korok seeds by just using stasis and walking around um, and look, at, look for rocks or what have you. It just, it wasn't a very well-designed feature. And, and this seems to have a, somewhat of a radius. Um, I don't think you can stasis food. Actually, I guess I can check that. Uh, let's just drop this. Oops. Uh, boom, X. Yeah, you can't stasis it. You can, but it doesn't show up, so... Yeah, it's not as bright as it was. It's somewhat fixed. And I'd imagine if it was just out in the wild. Oh, like that stick over there. Uh, I guess I can see it. It, it's not as bright. I think it's probably a little bit better. The design flaw might still be there, though. Yeah, it kind of is. Oh. Man, you're just everywhere. Hey, bud. Hmm? We find ourselves in a sea of clouds. Interesting. That would mean we're at quite an altitude. As you heard from the steward construct, this land is the Garden of Time. Site of the kingdom's rites and ceremonies. Mm. Though in my day, it was on the surface. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to get an idea of where this is. I am pretty sure it's been a hot min minute since I played Skyward Sword, which is sad because they re-released it. But it's been, um, I believe that this is Skyloft. I'm pretty sure looking at this map, there are quite a few similarities to Skyloft. Again, I might be insane. I might be on, I might be on Copium right now. That's cool. That's also from Xenoblade 3. Uh, <clears throat> but I think that's the case. And, if so, he just alluded to it having been on the surface during his time. Can I, like, push this off? I really want this to work. Um, Alright, let's... Run! I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Does that float? <laughs> It does. Uh, <clears throat> I need to be careful that I don't, don't die. So I think the Zonai are the tribe. They are indeed the tribe from uh, that were introduced in Skyward Sword. Again, I might be crazy. I might be well off base. I haven't watched Zelda. Uh, <clears throat> I think they're the tribe that were introduced in Skyward Sword. They're the ones that built the robots that we see in Skyward Sword. They built guardians in Breath of the Wild. Um, or the guardians that we see in Breath of the Wild. And his illusion there that it was on the surface, these are 
quote unquote the quote unquote Hylians, or I guess just people that were in Skyward Sword. That fire looks kind of odd. That's my theory. I'm sticking with it. Have I talked to you? I think I did. Yeah, I did. I've been here before. All right, let's let's climb here. Let's end this pilot episode of my return. Hopefully the feedback's good. Hopefully uh, th this recording uh, this recording session worked out okay. I've been glancing over the recording and it looks fine. Um, we're gonna find out though. I, obviously, I need to edit this thing, which it's gonna be the, some of the first stuff I've edited since you know the salad videos. I can't believe we conquered this. We did a great job. I mean, I did it alone. But hopefully the rest of the LP won't be alone. Hopefully I get some views on this. But if not, then, you know, I'll try and do it for me. I'll try to enjoy it for myself. One of my biggest flaws is that I feel, I've feel i always felt like I can't do anything unless I experience it. Unless I experience it with people. And it doesn't matter. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And it doesn't matter unless it's witnessed, shared, and people are impressed by it. But that's not a great mentality to be in. So I'm, I'm going to try and do this Let's Play for me. And there's a chance that this the upload schedule of this thing is going to be really short. Oh. There's a chance that the upload schedule is going to be insanely, sh uh, or insanely, um, seldom. I might upload once a week. I might upload twice a week. We're going to see. At the end of the day, D&D &D is currently my priority over Tears of the Kingdom. Um, but that might change. I might enjoy it. It might hit off. Um, I'm not announcing my return because, honestly, I'm not even sure how it's going to turn out when I edit this. I'm really surprised there's nothing back there. I, that's I would have put something there. Let go. No. Link. Walk over there. I'm doing this for me. And I'm doing this for... Honestly, you know what? Let, let's talk about that real quick. Actually... Yeah, let's talk about that real quick. I have gotten so many messages from you guys. Comments, messages, one, wondering when I was going to come back. I've gotten emails from you guys. And I'm touched. I'm honestly super touched because we have a, a tiny little corner on YouTube. I have like 700 subscribers, 800, I don't even, I don't even remember. And you guys have been there with me for so much and I, I've appreciated it. Breath of the Wild was a truly special experience. I, I learned so much through you guys. I avoided spoilers. I'm not gonna be able to do that this time, but uh, because I have two roommates that are playing. But it, it was something special. You guys made Breath of the Wild. If I had just played Breath of the Wild on my own, I probably, it wouldn't even be in my top 10. But because you helped me through it and we learned about it together, and you crafted the direction of my le my LP of it, of our LP of it. I, it holds a soft spot in my heart even still. And I hope that this game can do that solo and it does it even more so with you guys. My top 10 could use a new entry. Let's enter the Temple of Time. The, uh, the second Temple of Time. I don't know how that works. Is this a dungeon? What is this? What is that? I mean, it's the shrimp we saw earlier. The shrimp of time. But what does it do? Yeah, touch it, Link. You don't know where it's been. Touch it. All right. Wasn't expecting that. What?
Is my hand a Monado? <laughs> it seems like to me that my hand is a Monado. Recall. Reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. You can stop the reverse movement at any time. Hmm. Ah, recall. The ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. And Zelda has vanished as well. Hmm. What you just saw... It's a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was a sort of echo. One that reflects her sheer will. <laughs> now that you've been given this ability, no doubt it'll prove important. <laughs> Bye. I have no idea how, but you do you. <laughs> where I'd put a secret. Give me a second. I keep doing that. Okay, so what does this do? I can stop it. I can attach it to something? Um. Can I rotate it? No. Let's try our new power, I guess. Recall. Let's use the Monado. Time just froze. Okay. Um. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Because I held it in place earlier. That's what it reverted to. So, when I use this, time freezes. And then... Ah, I see what I need to do. It's... Pretty obvious. I, for I need to remember that time freezes while I use it. I can honestly do it while I'm on this. Yeah. Is it reversing all time? No, just this. That was funny. And then here. Cancel. It it's like stasis, but if stasis was like. It was given more time, more development time, honestly. And I can cancel at any time without needing to look. There's nothing there. Those are not targetable, even though they look very interactable. They're not. Uh, let's use this just to check. No, they're not. There's nothing over there, even though there really should be a chest over there. Got a statue. Yep. Saw that coming. Give me a second. All right, nothing down there. I didn't see any chests. If I'm, if there was one, let me know. Maybe there's one up there, but I don't know exactly how I should be getting up there. There's no place to use a send, so I'm just gonna do what the game wants me to do, and spend my spirit orbs for some stamina. Let's go. The goddess statue smiles upon you. Pray. We've been through this before. We know how this works. What? Do I not have enough? Maybe I don't have enough. Maybe there's another shrine that I didn't get. Hold up. Open. Why did you... F I love how he flexed before he did that. Push hold. No! They're gonna force me to have health, man. That's messed up. This door stands a test of your own overall vitality. Oh, it's him talking. Mm. You remain in a weakened state. You're not strong enough, strong enough yet to open it. But there is one more shrine on this island. There you can get another blessing. Oh. That's what I thought. If you add that to the other blessings you received at shrines and offer them all to the goddess, you might just find your way forward after all. Mm. Let us see the Parah Pad.
Nice, they're unlocking that, and we gotta go there. Alright. Let's do that now. I'm not gonna give an outro. I'm gonna give an outro once I finish, um, once I... Why did it refill me to everything but a quarter heart? That doesn't make sense. Give me health. Goddess. 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 Heal me. Fine, be that way. Uh, what was it saying? I... We'll do an outro once I'm done with, uh, with the Garden of Time. That's, that's my goal. That's, that's gonna be my re first recording session, my first recording session back. I kinda wanna test myself and, and kinda strain my voice as much as possible. Uh, I'm, I am used to doing, uh, to talking a lot just because of D&D, &D, but I can feel, I can feel pain and I wanna kinda exercise it. And yes, I know from watching a lot of voice actors talk, that's not the best thing to do, but skip it. I'm, I'm doing it. Alright, uh, where are we going next? I want to go, I want to pull my map. That's ultimately my goal. So I'm going to edit this over to this white one. Um, and we're going that way. And I can warp closer. Yeah, we're going to warp over here. We're going to warp over here and then go over, go north. So I'll meet you over there, and we're going to get that Korok seed right now. Koroks are stupid. I used to like them. Now I hate them. We're going to attach this over here. I'm probably not going to use this part. But in the off chance I do, they are the absolute worst. That's why I'm going to do this. I'm going to rotate you like that and attach you there and then I'm gonna lift you up <laughs> I meant to to like grind his face to nothingness on this this rail but <laughs> this might be the worst thing I'll ever manage to do to a Korok <laughs> this poor guy I actually Kinda feel bad. Um. Ooh. Ugh, that can't have been pleasant for you. Um. Ooh. I'm. You know what? You put me through a lot. I'm not sorry. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Bye. <laughs>